Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's finally confirmed. Jagex are completing the combat triangle of Dragonbane weapons in old school RuneScape by introducing the first magic Dragonbane weapon. This, along with some other newly confirmed unique items, are coming as rewards from the new group boss activity. I've covered the boss in previous videos, so I'll link those both in the description if you want to watch them first. But let's get into the final reveal of the rewards from this activity. Usual disclaimer, of course, that these are now going to be polled, so there's every chance they don't pass the poll, or that Jagex just decide to change something last minute. Anyway, let's start with the changes to the wand. Here we are, guys. This was originally called the Dueling Wand and will now be temporarily called the... I'm not going to butcher the pronunciation. You know, the wand. We're going to call it the wand. I think a quick win here, though, is just to call it the Dragon Hunter wand, so that it, you know, kind of fits with the other two Dragon Hunter weapons. So the new wand has had its stats shaken up a little bit. You'll still need 65 magic to wield it and it boasts the same attack bonus as a Nightmare Staff but it will now have an extra 5% magic damage, sitting at a pretty insane 10%. Previously, it had its own built-in spell and it could cast its own built-in spell at a faster rate, but long story short, that's gone. It can now cast standard spells at a five tick speed, but of course it now has Dragonbane. We now know that this Dragonbane effect will add a 50% accuracy boost and 20% magic strength against draconic creatures. And these numbers, while they seem like a lot, still don't overtake some of the other options that you can use while fighting draconic creatures. I will say though, before we start comparing, you know, apples and pears, that it's worth noting three things. Firstly, the other Dragonbane weapons, at least for iron accounts, have some incredibly steep requirements. Getting lucky at the Chambers of Zeric for a Dragon Hunter crossbow, or achieving 95 Slayer plus a pretty steep RNG check for the Dragon Hunter Lance. The Dragon Hunter 1 though is far more accessible. Secondly, Jagex have teased that we may see a means to upgrade this one later on down the line, which will make it a far more competitive weapon against those stronger draconic creatures. And of course, lastly, this is all prior to elemental weaknesses coming in as part of Project Rebalance. And yes, Jagex have said that the elemental weaknesses will stack with the aforementioned Dragonbane effect, so this could make for some pretty wild numbers, honestly. I think first of all, numbers aside, it's great that this weapon is advocating the use of the standard spellbook. And that's great. That is part of what Jagex originally intended to do with Project Rebalance. Now, there is definitely some argument out there that this wand comes in at a much lower requirement than other magic weapons that could also take advantage of the standard spellbook. The Master Wand, the Nightmare Staff, you know, are these just overshadowed by an option that you could get much earlier with far fewer hours dedicated to achieving it? But you know, that's just me playing devil's advocate, admittedly. Be sure to let me know what you guys think in the comments. Is this wand far too powerful for how accessible it is or is it underpowered? Because now I want to move on to the newest reward. I talked in my last video about this potentially bonus reward that Jagex just kind of teased at the end of their live stream. And this reward was going to take the form of a ranged prayer set. This has now been confirmed as an intended reward, and here it is. There's no visuals or concept art yet, so for now, for the purposes of this video, I've just put this together to demonstrate it's not the actual armor. But let's just look over these stats for a second. Okay, pretty high prayer bonuses, but something about this just seems a bit familiar. This new range set is a straight upgrade from Blessed Dragonhide. With just four pieces of this new armor set, you get a total of eight prayer bonus, and it even has a higher magic defense than Blessed Dragonhide. This set will require 40 defense and 70 range to equip, except for the legs and van braces, which have no defense requirements. This is pretty insane for pures or, you know, other unique account builds, but I think this has a much wider impact than just that. Firstly though, can we just have a moment of silence for Blessed Dragonhide, guys? Because this just kind of... Yeah. Now, this has been a bit of a bone of contention for some members of the community, saying that they're not happy with it being almost a complete replacement for Blessed Dragonhide. And others are of the opinion that Blessed Dragonhide and other clue items shouldn't have a place in gear progression in the first place. Now, when Jagex first proposed this ranged prayer set, I was imagining something more along the lines of Proselyte, in the sense of, you know, Proselyte is beefed up. 
with Prey a bonus, but its other stats are average at best. And gear like that is really good in places where defensive stats don't really matter. You might be thinking, hey Jagex, why don't you just have this new boss drop an item that upgrades the existing Blessed Dragon Hide to keep it a little bit more relevant? They did cover this point on stream saying that they didn't want to release upgrades for clue scroll items. <clears throat> Ranger boots exist? And it's clear Jagex wanted a good standalone reward to come from this activity. Now, for most people, this is an I sleep kind of point. You know, if you can just walk up to the Grand Exchange and be like, yep, I'll have one of those, please, then this isn't going to affect you all that much. But for those iron accounts out there, this is a real shit type situation. Because of how early you're going to be able to do this boss, you could argue that there's really not much of a need to do hard clue scrolls altogether. Of course, Jagex are one step ahead here and they haven't included boots within this new armor set. And this is actually a five head play from Jagex because the Blessed Dragonhide boots actually fill a very important gap in ranged boot slot gear progression. And you would know that if you're still wearing these. And of course, not to forget that Flesh Dragonhide is still going to have that niche use in the God Wars dungeon, so it will always be somewhat relevant. But of course, let's hear your takes on this new ranged prayer armor set. Like the video if you like this armor set, and uh, like the video three times if you dislike it. Genius. Either way, I think that the direction this group boss is going in with its rewards is a real positive one. It's a big change from its original offering, and I think it's now in a place where it's a bigger incentive for groups of people to take part in the boss. The other rewards that I mentioned in my last video that feature in the blog haven't gone anywhere. The new seed that will drop from the boss will go towards making the new prayer regeneration potion, and of course, the Tome of Earth hasn't been changed at all. Oh. Except that Jagex still haven't decided what the new name for Muddy Pages should be. And I asked you guys in the last video to come up with some suggestions for them. You know, admittedly, they're probably not all appropriate. But you know, Jagex, if you're watching, if you're listening, Dirty Pages got the most likes. Of course, we have the likes of Muddy Flaps, Diarrhea Papaya, Pebble Poems, Soil Pamphlets. I'm not sure Jagex is going to buy on these ones, guys. <laughs> I really hope they do though. Guys, at the time of recording this video, we are closing in on 10,000 subscribers. That is crazy to me. I never thought we'd get this far and the support from you guys has just been incredible. I have a really special stream and video plan for when we do hit 10,000 subs. So if you haven't already, subscribe, like, drop a comment on the video, give it that little algorithm boost. Thank you guys for being here. If there's an update or topic that you'd like me to cover, drop it in the comments and I'll definitely consider it. Otherwise, there is plenty more to come. So until then, I will see you all in the next one. Last